Hey, my name is Tanisha, and I'm going to be giving you guys some advice about what you can expect and how to survive Dr. Gardner's 2130 class. Um, for starters, this class is nothing like any class that I've taken before, and in some aspects, that's a good thing, and in some, it was kind of hard for me because I had to adjust to it, but overall, it's good it's a great experience um for starters be sure to step outside of your comfort zone me personally i i'm a people person but i don't necessarily jump at every opportunity to interact with different people but in this class you have to like <coughs> the bonding and like just group activities that you do is going to make you like step outside of your shell anyway so you don't really have a choice because i was determined at first to like just do what i gotta do in class call it a day but it didn't really work out like that um you are going to make friends in this class and when i say you're going to make friends don't just come in here with the mindset that Oh, we're all going to be best friends because that will set you up for a disappointment every time. I don't personally believe in you just automatically become friends with someone. I feel like you have to get to know them. And this class allows you to get to know your classmates if you participate in the different activities that we do. Like the Edmodo posting. Edmodo is very important. Um, that's really where I got to open up and become closer to a lot of my classmates because I was not going to just put myself out there. And so I thought everyone was kind of opening up and like just going with the flow at Moto. So I joined in and that was possibly one of the best experiences that I've ever had in a class. Elementary school, middle school, high school, up until now, like that's one of the best experiences I've ever had because it allowed me to see that people that I thought were nothing like me were actually somewhat like me. And that's great because as teachers, we need to be able to understand that we're going to have differences with our students, our coworkers, parents, but in the end, we all should have one common goal and that's to teach the students. And speaking of teaching students, the teacher retreat, that is one module that I would definitely recommend to anyone who takes this class. The teacher retreat is hectic. It can be stressful. I started crying before I even went. I was just that worried about how I was going to do. But as I got up there and I went through my scenario, I mean, it's worst case scenario situations. So if you can handle that, you'll be able to handle everyday life in the classroom. And the teacher retreat made me more confident about being a teacher. Because at first I wasn't sure if that was something I wanted to do, but the teacher retreat reassured me. Um, also, the living history module is another great one. Personally, I like that one a whole lot better than any of the other modules besides the teacher retreat. Because the living history module allowed me to actually be in a classroom setting with students, like actual students. I had to be responsible for the class, well, my group and I. We had to be responsible for class management. We had to keep the students engaged. We had to know information. We basically got to teach our own class, if that makes sense. And that was beyond fun to me. So I would recommend the teacher retreat and the living history module for the two modules. But you can always do more. You can always do more. Um, at Moto assignments, make sure you do those. And if you don't want to do the assignments, I mean, you can always go to the teacher retreats that are not particularly yours and build up waivers. You can go to CSU events, get waivers. Like, most of the assignments are waiverable. <coughs> so, that's always an option. But overall, I was kind of scared about taking this class because I did not know whether or not I would like fit into this. I was where I've always been like an overachiever. So it's never really anything I say I can't do. But 
this class, when I first set foot in here on the very first day, I told myself then, like, this is not going to work for me. Because at first, Dr. Gardner seemed to be too happy. And I'm all for happiness, but I've never believed that you're happy. So a person can be happy 24-7. Like, that's impossible. But as time grown, I got... As time went on, I grown to know him more and see more about how he reacts and how he acts in situations. And he doesn't seem like that, oh, I'm Mr. Perfect person. I mean, he has his flaws just like all the rest of us. And that's what genuinely pulled me more into this class. Like, I was able to see that we all have issues and we all just want to be the best teachers possible. So... Um, in summary, this class is really all you make it. Like, if you come in here and say, I'm going to have the best time of my life, you're nine times out of ten going to have the best time of your life. Um, if you come in like me, you're like, I'm going to just go with the flow, whatever happens, happens. You're probably still going to have a really good time because, like, if you have classmates that are anything like mine, they're not going to let you just sit to yourself. There's going to be a Bree, a Maddie, who compliments you every time you enter the room. A Maisha, Madison, and Jai that just make you smile no matter what. And a Chris who just gives you un, like a load of knowledge that you never thought you needed. And then there's Dr. Gardner who kind of levels you out. I mean, sometimes you may feel like you don't get all the credit that you deserve. Because I felt like that throughout the semester, honestly. But, I mean, I don't think it's purposely. It's just part of the part of the flow. I mean, when you're in a class with 30 different people, that's 30 different personalities. So, you kind of have to adjust. I feel like as long as you participate, adjust. And you seem willing and eager in class to participate in the class discussions, um, peer groups, you got to make sure you participate with your peer groups. I feel like everything will just be fine. So, that's my advice to the next 21-30 class.